Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to use a game controller with your iPhone today. So let's get started. In order to use the game controller with your iPhone is, first of all, make sure you have an iPhone 6s or later running iOS 15, at least iOS 15.5 or later for it to work smoothly. Second of all, you'll need a specific game controller to work with the iPhone. I've tried the Xbox before, Xbox controllers, and the iPhone did not recognize it. It wouldn't even connect to it or show it in my Bluetooth settings. So for it to work, you'll need the SteelSeries Nimbus X controller from Apple. So you see, Apple sells this for about $69. All you have to do is go to search, search up game controller, and at the, at the bottom here where it says more results, you'll see it right here, SteelSeries Nimbus X Nimbus Plus, I meant, wireless gaming controller. That's the one you'll need in order for it to work. Because when I go to compatible with my devices, you see it shows all my older iPhones still compatible with it. So that's why you'll need this one. Okay, so to do this, first of all, press and hold the home button to turn on the controller. Next, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on your iPhone. Third, go to settings and inside Bluetooth, then, on the controller, hold the pairing button on the back. And there we go, Nimbus Plus, just like that. So the Nimbus Plus has more compatibility with iPhone than the Xbox does, because I tried the Xbox a long time ago with the iPhone and it did not work at all, but the Nimbus does. So pretty cool, but unlike the iPad, on the iPad you can move this joystick around to select your icons. But on iPhone, you just cannot do that unless you press the A button and it'll open up the widget, just like that. So if you press A, it'll just interact through the widget, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so what I've done here is download some Apple Arcade games that do work with Game Controller because last night, it took me a long time last night, like 3 to 4 in the morning, I tested the Game Controller and only Apple Arcade games will work as of right now. So I'm going to use one of my favorite games I, use, I played a lot called... It's a little, it's an unusual game here. Just give it a second to load. Okay, here we go. Because Wild Hearts, that's one of my favorite games from Apple Arcade. So all I'm going to do is move my phone back and you can see my, my phone is selecting the options just like that with the game controller. Hit start. But I had to mute the volume due to YouTube's copyright system and music policies, so that's why you don't hear any audio. You see, it works perfectly. This is the one I was playing last night. You see, I can move around like this, and if you have a hit tree, I start all over. Or it rewinds me back to checkpoint. Yeah, so it's very hard for me to do this on camera because I'm looking through a camera lens. It's very, very difficult for me to do this. Here you guys can see, I'm playing the game. It works flawlessly. I'm very impressed. It kind of, you guys kind of get the idea. So when I hit this option, it'll go to the menu to pause or continue to restart. So I'll hit quit. And that's basically how you use game controller with iPhone. So you can also I can also use it on a Sonic racing game, but I'm but I'm unable to start the race for some reason. But I can still show you that it selects stuff. Now I hit B, it goes back. You see, I can actually select stuff with my controller, so it does work perfectly. So only Apple Arcade games will work with the game controller for iPhone as of right now. Maybe in iOS 16 this June, Apple may add more support for game controllers in the future. Do not know, but that is basically how you use game controller with your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. It's the next video. Peace out.